This is an A119S hot pixel verification video. Many owners of this dash cam are complaining their nighttime clips contain white dots as seen in this sample clip. Here there are more than three that stay in the same position and blink on and off depending on the darkness of the background image. That is one of the key symptoms of the issue I am highlighting here. To mimic this in your workshop, simply connect your dash cam to a tablet adapter that's over 2 amp, 5 volts, and hold it in your hand but don't touch the lens housing on the bottom. What you're trying to do is darken the image but not cut out all light. And by doing this, you will eventually get a position where some tiny white dots will be displayed in your LCD. They're too tiny to be picked up here on my camcorder, but they are there and you can now see them in the clip that I'm showing you. This live clip demonstrates that these white dots only occur when the lighting condition is darker in that area. However, I am going to do something to confirm it's the sensor. A hot pixel is described as a actual sensor pixel that is damaged or not receiving correct signal. And in this case, the actual sensor is overheating and it will create more of these hot pixel white dots. So if your dash cam seems to be getting more and more as the months go by, that can be overheating inside your dash cam. But I'm about to show something else that can be causing this issue. To verify a hot pixel issue with the sensor, I want to eliminate the possibility of the lens causing the same problem. And I'm going to swap or flip the lens housing over the sensor so it's on the other side and if it shows the pixels the hot pixels in exactly the same place that's a hot pixel in the sensor if it actually moves the pixels that is a lens problem so we're going to do that right now This specific dash cam is using firmware version 1.2 and I can confirm after flipping the lens module over the sensor and darkening the image with my hand I can see the white dots appearing in the top and center of this LCD display in exactly the same position they were prior to rotating the lens module which verifies that the hot pixel issue is in fact the sensor itself it has nothing to do with the lens. The only options you have in fixing this issue is to either claim warranty if you see more than 10 of these white dots or hot pixels and the number grows as the sensor gets hotter over time. If you have an excessive amount, claim warranty, get a new dash cam. If you want to attempt to repair yourself, all you have to do is go to the Viofo website and download their newer 1.7 firmware file which includes remapping of hot pixels. Now we're going to do that right here and see if it changes. 
the number of hot pixels on this specific dash cam. I just copied the latest Viofo firmware 1.7, the binary file, onto a 16 gigabyte micro SD card and inserted it in the dash cam. I'm going to now apply power and this would be the recommended way of flashing your dash cam. I'm doing it on the workbench using a tablet 5 volt 3 amp power adapter. When you first connect the power the only indication anything is happening is this blinking light when you flash your dash cam. It'll blink very slowly and you'll know it's working correctly when it speeds up suddenly. There we go, it's got a quick blink and it should do this twice and you're not to interrupt the power during this procedure. Do not touch any of the buttons or do anything at all. Wait for your dash cam to turn itself back on. My recommendation is to hold it just like this for a good two minutes. Don't unplug or touch anything during this process or you will corrupt your firmware and your dash cam will not work correctly. So here it is powering up the first time after the flash. Now what I recommend is just let it sit for a moment just to confirm that the actual recording light comes on. That anything that you had preset will have been lost. So this will be normally the new features will be activated here in the firmware if there were any added and you would have lost your date stamp. So this has now got the wrong date. That's to confirm you have the new firmware. To really confirm it, press your record button to stop the recording. Press your menu button. Hit the record button again or the left arrow to go to the bottom and press the center button to see what firmware version you have. This is currently uh, as of July 2017 this is version 1.7. The reason why I loaded this firmware is Biofo has mentioned this contains a hot pixel remapping function and doing this multiple times may actually improve or reduce the hot pixels if you have many on your nighttime recordings. To verify if it has helped, press your menu button twice to go back to the recording menu while holding your dash cam. Cover the lens sufficiently to darken it and see if you can bring out any hot pixels. Now I can see here on this short clip here being held in my hand that the hot pixel in the top right corner is still there. So this remapping function it may have reduced the intensity of the white dot but I can still verify it's in exactly the same position. So this will have eliminated a lot of the smaller hot pixels or white dots and improved the overall nighttime video quality. But if you find on your dash cam that you have too many bright white dots and my ballpark limit would be 10. If you have 10 bright hot pixels on your nighttime recording I recommend claiming warranty and get a brand new dash cam. And I also advise that if you want to reflash the same version 1.7 maybe three different times on each successive time of flashing it will remap whatever hot pixels that are detected and you may be able to reduce most of them but if you find you still have over 10 10 white dots I would claim warranty I hope you found this video useful see my other videos on both the A119 and A119S and subscribe so you don't miss any future video releases.